How do you do? <laughs> After my performance last year, the producers felt it unkind to proceed without a friendly word of warning. I'm about to unfold a story that is one of the strangest tales you have ever heard. It may shock you. It may thrill you. It might even horrify you. So, if anyone feels that they do not want to subject their nerves to such a strain, well, now is your time to, uh, well, we warned you. I would like, if I may, to take you on another strange journey. It is a journey into a new dimension. There is a fifth dimension beyond that which is known to man. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It lies in the middle ground between light and shadow, between science and superstition. It lies between the pit of man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is the dimension of imagination. It is an area we call the Twilight Zone. <laughs> Submitted for your approval, the story of one Angela Arden, a young woman who, like many normal kids, has problems with her parents <laughs> and just wants to fit in. However, an accidental encounter with a strange visitor causes her to cross the boundaries to our bleak universe. This is her story, and again, the names have been changed to protect the innocent. You live your life in the songs you hear on the rock and roll radio, and when a young girl doesn't have any friends, well, that's a really nice place to go. Her folks hoping she'd turn out cool, but they had to take her out of school. She's a little touched, you know, Angie baby. Lovers appear in her room each night, and they whirl her across the floor. But they always seem to fade away when her daddy taps on the door. Angie girl, are you all right? Tell the radio good night. All alone once more, Angie baby. Stopping at her house is a neighbor boy with evil on his mind. For he's been peeking in Angie's room at night through the window blind. I see your folks have gone away. Would you dance with me today? I'll show you how to have a good time, Angie baby. When he walks in the room, he feels confused like he's walked into a play. The music's so loud, it spins him around till his soul has lost its way. And as she turns the volume down, he's getting smaller with the sound. It seems to pull him off the ground toward the radio he's bound never to be found. The headlines read that a boy disappeared and everyone thinks he died, except a crazy girl with a secret lover who keeps her satisfied. It's so nice to be insane. No one asks you to explain. Radio by your side, Angie Baby. Angie Baby, you're a special lady, living in a world of make-believe. Well, maybe. This is our story. Naive little Angie, forever lounging with her trusty radio, tuned to a silent station transmitting from somewhere within the dark recesses of 
the Twilight Zone.